in the top of the tree. You can see one vulture sitting on it at the moment. I don't see any sign of the chick's head just yet, but there's the adult vulture just peering at us through the thicket. Oh, there's a chick, I think. Is it moving down below? There we go. So it is there and still very little. I thought maybe it would be slightly bigger than what it is, but it is still very small. You can see it's quite white and fluffy, which is that little white thing below the wings of the adult vulture and so it's still got a way to go before it's going to be flying anywhere or bouncing around that is still quite little and and i haven't been able to actually see it nicely this is the first time that i've seen it properly and we're still going to be a long 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 road ahead until that one is even remotely jumping around in the branches or trying to take short flights i would say it's probably at least three months until it's going to be flying maybe even longer which is still a long long period for that adult to feed it and make sure that it's surviving interestingly though that's only the one of them so the other adult must have found a carcass last and late last night and is stuck there overnight and then is going to feed and come back and relieve this one of duties they do often um separate like that but normally if you come early early in the morning before the sun really up and then the thermals are are heating up and the, the birds are able to fly then you find both of them here so interesting that it's just the one today it means the other one must have found some sort of food item overnight or just before sunset and got stuck in that area and will come back as soon as it's fed